What's up guys, this is Antoine Robinson. I'm back with another video. Uh, I just wanted to drop in and do another quick video here. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a video every week, uh, but the focus of this week is, I just really wanna encourage people to start trying to grow their own food. Uh, you know, oftentimes, you know, people always, why would I wanna grow my own food? And let me ask you the question, why wouldn't you wanna grow your own food? You know, oftentimes when we buy stuff in the store, we don't know where it came from or, you know, who grew it or, uh, uh, you know, a, a lot of times we hear today so many people uh, or some of the so many of the products that we buy nowadays, peanut butter uh, is a hot bid one right now uh, because of the salmonella, salmonella outbreak, can't even say it. Uh, but you know, I mean, it's just so happened spinach and lettuce uh, over the past couple of years have had huge issues with salmonella. Uh, and so it just makes more sense instead of going through the hassle of wondering and worrying about what's in your food, why don't you grow your own food? Food. Uh, let me tell you, a lot of times, you know, we get so caught up in going to the grocery store and just having that ease of buying stuff in the store. Uh, but I worry so much more about the taste, uh, especially because post COVID, uh, I still can't smell anything. Uh, you know, and so taste for me uh, is so much more important just because I don't have that sense of smell. Uh, and so it really causes me to value my food and the taste of my food uh, so much more now. And so uh, ask yourself and start thinking about it. if you don't grow your own food, why not? Uh, you know, it, it tastes so much better. Uh, it's a good way of being able to save money. Uh, and, and so there's really no good reason that we cannot grow our own food. It's easy, it's inexpensive. Uh, and it, the biggest thing for me is it just makes me happy. I just love to see my vegetables grow. Uh, let me show you this sunflower here. Look at that sunflower. I get to come out here and this is just one sunflower I have. The other ones that I was a little slow in starting. Uh, but I mean, this sunflower has done so well uh, and I just enjoy being able to see all these blooms. Uh, we're finally getting bees. And so I get to see these bees all over my sunflower. Uh, and uh, but just seeing this thing just makes me so happy. I'm looking forward to uh, the rest of the season uh, and just seeing how many more sunflowers I can grow. But that was a side note. Uh, the reason I really came on here is because I really want to encourage you guys to grow your own food. And, and the food I want to highlight today uh, is cucumbers. Cucumbers, you know, next to things like radishes uh, can be some of the easiest uh, foods that you can grow uh, and also the quickest uh, within the 30 day period, uh, you can have yourself cucumbers. Uh, I've got cucumbers over here. I'm gonna show you that I've got growing a grow bag. I've got, I've got probably four bag, grow bags of cucumbers going right now. And so I have a lot of cucumbers, but I like eating cucumbers uh, and they taste, so, they taste so much better uh, that uh, when you grow them yourselves, uh, and so I really encourage you, uh, you know, when you, when you, whenever you grow something, think about what you eat. You know, for me, I really enjoy eating cucumbers. They taste good to me. Uh, and so they're, they're just one of my favorite fruits, uh, that I like to eat. And so, uh, when you get ready to think about, are you going to grow something, think about what it is that you eat. For me, it was cucumbers and it was peppers. And so today I'm going to do cucumbers next week. We're going to do peppers. Uh, but you know, cucumbers became something easy for me to grow. I started growing cucumbers when I was in Florida, uh, and, uh, didn't have a whole lot of success growing them in Florida because we had a bad uh, cabbage worm problem uh, and the cabbage worms always ate all of my cucumber leaves but you know what I kept doing it I kept getting better at it uh, I just like growing cucumbers because they were so easy to grow and if uh, the cabbage worms eat them guess what I, I buy a packet of seeds that cost me $2.99 and all I got to do is just plop some more seeds in there uh, because eventually the cabbage worms will disappear and then you know you'll have your you know nice cucumbers uh, and so, so today, let me show you what my cucumbers look like right now. I planted these about three weeks ago. And so here's my, uh, this is just one section of cucumbers that I have, but I planted these about three weeks ago. Uh, and so I have um, three different varieties of cucumbers in here. I have a straight eight cucumber, 
I have a burpless cucumber, and then I have a, um, a Mary Moore cucumber that's in here. Uh, and so I've got three different varieties of cucumbers. I just wanted to see uh, how they would do. I don't know which ones are growing uh, and which ones are doing good and which one's not, uh, but I just wanted to hedge my bets and just so I planted three different varieties in here just to see what would happen. Uh, you can see this thing is getting out of control. Uh, it's growing all over the place. And so I'm really gonna have to figure out uh, I've got this little metal trellis that's in here uh, that it's doing its job, but you know, the cucumbers are starting to outpace, you know, even the trellis here. Uh, and so I'm gonna have to uh, either let these things just sprawl as they are, or I may just start trellising it up the stairway here. This is what I did with my cantaloupe last year. I planted cantaloupe here last year. Uh, and so this year I put the cucumbers in here. Uh, and so I'll probably just trellis the cucumbers up uh, the railing here. We've got two sides of the railing, don't really need both sides. Uh, and so we may just use the one side, uh, but this thing is growing fantastically. If you look in here, you can see that we already have cucumbers that are growing in here. Didn't even notice how many cucumbers are in here, uh, but uh, this thing is putting on a lot, a lot of fruit, uh, which is cool. And I've got more fruit coming, uh, which is really cool. Uh, and, so, uh, and so cucumbers are great. I mean, they take a lot of water, uh, which isn't bad. Uh, you know, and so every time I water these in the morning, uh, and then by the time I get home in the afternoon, they need to be watered again because the leaves are starting to wilt. Uh, and so I just water them again. I do have a drip irrigation system, uh, but I haven't set it up yet. And so uh, since we moved to the new house, I uh, really haven't had a chance to set up the drip irrigation like I want to. And so definitely going to work on that just so I don't have to be out here watering as much because between the cucumbers and the sunflower, uh, they are definitely taking up a lot of water. Sorry, I'm sweating. I just got done getting some fitness in. Uh, and so I'm sweating a little bit uh, after my workout, but uh, I wanted to, since I was already sweaty and hot, I figured I'd come out here and do this video. Uh, and so guys, this I wanted to make this a short one, uh, but I did want to encourage you, hey, go ahead and just get you a packet of seeds. If you get a packet of seeds from the store, you can go to the dollar store and get them for a dollar. You can go to Walmart, get them for $2.99. Uh, I buy packets of seeds, you know, once or twice a year. Uh, but those seeds will normally last me four years. Uh, a lot of these seeds for these cucumbers, they were four years old. Didn't even realize I had them, but I figured, you know what? I'm just going to plant the whole packet of seeds. The seeds are four years old. I'm going to plant them and see what happens. And surprisingly, all these seeds still germinated. Even four years, the seeds were four years. They said expired 2000 or 2018 was when they expired. Uh, and now we're in 2022 and the seeds are still germinating and the plants are doing fantastically. Uh, and so it's not like that these seeds are one and done. As long as you take care of them, you keep them dry, uh, you take care of them, uh, they will take care of you. Uh, and so guys, that is going to be a short video. I do want to encourage you plant something, you know, get you some soil, get you some, you know, some, some compost, uh, whatever the case might be, whatever you like to plant in. Uh, if you're like me, I'll show you, uh, you know, I've, I've gotten to the point where just because I want to save on space, I'm, I'm, I even plant, you know, in my, uh, in the, in my front yards, you know, I've got peppers and we're going to look at the peppers next week. Uh, but I've got okra, peppers, uh, I've got zucchini, I've got flowers, uh, I've, I've got all types of things uh, growing, you know, and so uh, check out your homeowners associations and things like that uh, and see what you're allowed to do in your front yard. Uh, but here I'm practicing permaculture gardening, so I intersperse flowers with the vegetables so it doesn't look like that I'm, you know, I've got this farm going on over here even though I do uh, but it's just something that I can do uh, that way I can make sure that I can provide food for my family that I have something that I enjoy to do uh, and uh, it's just you know I'm, I'm kind of giving back uh, to nature uh, taking care of the land that God has given us and so guys I hope you guys will 
truly consider planting a garden this year right now is not too late i know it's starting to get hot especially for those of us that live in georgia but we have such a long season here in georgia to grow some things uh, and there's a lot of plants that actually thrive in the heat uh, and so we'll look at some more of those and so if vegetables aren't your thing get you some flowers sunflowers love the heat uh, and they're super easy to grow. I've got several different varieties of sunflowers uh, that I'm growing this year. Uh, and so there's so, so much that you can grow uh, and uh, so much more enjoyment that you can get out of having a garden. And so I highly encourage you, if you don't have a garden, get one. If you have any questions about what I'm growing and how I'm growing these things, uh, post a comment. If you enjoy the content, uh, like and subscribe because uh, I'm going to try to post a video every single week. All right, guys. Thank you. We will talk to you soon.